What's going on guys? Ghost 11 back and this is Tiger 14 again and after a pretty successful amateur tournament uh, consistent golf we have made it into the US Open as an amateur and as I said before I'm not sure exactly how they do this um, so if it's how many rounds it's gonna be or what um, I don't have any options here to change it Could settings. Uh, I know you could change the amount of rounds per tournament. Maybe we just have to get into the actual season first before we do that. So you've qualified to play in the U.S. Open Championship as an amateur. You will be competing against other amateurs to earn the honor of being the low amateur at the U.S. Open Championship. It's one of the four majors here. You can experience the drama of the majors before becoming a professional golfer. Complete any of the objectives to advance. Play in the U.S. Open. Pl plays first to win the U.S. Open Low Amateur Trophy. Okay. Let's do it. U.S. Open Amateur at Oakmont. Nice. And it's a one-rounder. Okay, final round. Interesting. 18 holes, easy black tee tournament conditions. So that's tough faster greens, long, rough, calm wind, that was nice. Alright, so we're not training. Bah, training. And should we go with another boost here, fair wooden wedge? Let's go fair wooden wedge. I don't think I ever used the pins in my previous 360 playthrough, so... I, I'm one of the kind of I'm the kind of people that hog, you know, the uh, pins and uh, those kind of things when I play. I don't like to use items, but I don't really care as much this time around here. So we are at Oakmont, though. EA which is Sports a tough course. and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. The final round coverage of the United States Open, golf's toughest test. We're just outside of Pittsburgh at historic Oakmont, where not even an hour away, Arnold Palmer was raised in Latrobe. And it was here at Oakmont where Arnold decided to say goodbye to the U.S. Open competition as a competitor back in 1994. So good to be back again at Oakmont. Jim Nance and David Faraday here for the calling on EA Okay, so Sports. we just have to worry about these amateurs. It looks like looks like we don't actually have to worry about winning this thing as a pro, like beating the pros. I don't know. All I care about is hitting the ball straight. Gotta love that start to the round. I like it. And a shot of about 200 yards left to the flagstick, maybe a little less. So both feet away, and we actually got our boys. Now we got Ferry out here. We didn't actually have any announcers in that first round, which is so this is kind of cool. Okay, so we're playing some wind. We got a lot of downhill on this though. So 198. We got about 10 yards downhill. So 188. See how we do with this. These greens are going to be faster, too. But that'll play. Sit down. Sit down. All right. Uh, well, it's a quick start here. Well first, the first hole round. with a birdie chance. Get there. That ah, ball was fractionally speed. off. What a bad break. Got the speed down for the most part. It's uh, the aiming Absolutely right now. Absolutely gorgeous conditions. Yeah, those tournament course conditions. So 340. Uh, par 4. Oakmont's a great course, man.
He drove that one with authority. Little feet barely have to worry about it. Been a pillow. Get down. Feels like it's long and it's short. Almost ah, the perfect it. distance. Well played. Good ball, though. I'll take it. I need a new shirt. I don't want EA plastered all over my guy. I need some new stuff. We'll get it soon, I hope. For the birdie. We now get in. have nice. a new leader. New leader, huh? Oh, yeah, we're only going against the amateurs. Let's go back to the leaderboard. So we got Scott Ratchman, Manuel Austin, or Manuel Austin, and Elijah Atkins that we have to worry about here today. And there's those uh, the church pew bunkers they call them, kind of. I believe that's what they call them. Going down the fairway. I do like this camera. Just cool having different angles. Very well done cinematic. off the tee. He's going to be TV happy with that. Right it. in the fairway and long. Barely above our feet. A little bit uphill on the lie, though. And uh, I want to go definitely uphill on this bit. Looks like the pitching wedge from here. Be the club. Short again, but it's going to leave me up a putt. Couldn't have asked for something much better than that. Of course, it's only eight feet short, so I'll take it. Anything breaking a little tad, maybe left to right. Birdie. Yeah, a little bit. I don't want to go outside the cup, I don't think. Who knew? What an amazing Money. putt. Take a look at last week's leaderboard. Killing it at Oakmont. Last week we had eight under at the U.S. Amateur. Back on the other side of the church pew bunkers. There's the shot you see that would have lengthened my career considerably. But... Fee zero point nine. Okay. If this is a par five that we look like I'm not gonna be able to reach. So let's just knock it out there. And trundles off the fairway and into the second cut. Wow, I missed the fairway. A little bit of a yeah, a little bit of a Some nastiness here. Depending on your lie, the ball will appear in different direct locations in the strike meter. That's interesting that that's coming up. Actually, I think it's going to reset, yeah. Sit down. Wow, that's going long, huh? It came out that hot. shot just turned the fortunes around on this hole. That came out hot. That's for birdie. But, yeah, this is not looking like a very good birdie chance. Those would break your heart every time. Good par. 
quick look at the Eagle leaders for the round. No Eagles for the amateurs. All American. I guess that makes sense. You could have picked for uh, Europe. And I wonder where we'd be playing for that. Probably the British on this one then. Or not the British one. I'm talking about St. Andrews most likely. That's a good solid start. I wonder what the first round would be. I, I don't can't remember what courses are available. There's 20 courses straight out of the box. I don't have any of the DLC yet. Still decide what I'm going to do about that. I don't know why I'm deciding. I pretty much know I'm going to end up getting it, but I like to tell myself I'm deciding. Played and about eight feet away for birdie. Wow, that's a lot of break. A chance for birdie. Oh, yep. Man, that broke way off. A nice par to hold at two under. Uh, DL Stony Brook has played 74,000 holes in this country club. Okay, so we got a lot of work to do here. We got six iron coming into this thing. No wind. Though. 15 feet downhill, so we gotta think of that as being about 194. So we wanna hit this about 188. I'm gonna roll a little bit, I think. Pretty much a full. Is this a 5 iron? Let's see if that worked out right. It'll be a little long, isn't it? Yeah. That actually went a lot farther than I thought it was going to go. 25 feet. Jeez. Got to put some brakes on that. Get to the hole. Get in the hole. Ah! That's one you'd like to have over. That was a tough putt, Jim. Well, we don't want a bogey here. This is for par. A couple of early birdies and kind of settle down and do a par. A little bit of a par streak going here. I'll take it. These guys were playing. We have it on hard difficulty, the AI, but I think there's actually two up more than that. So, um, they're not the toughest guys to worry about yet. That's a par four. We can barely get it there. Be the club. Give me in the at least the middle green. We're hoping. There we go. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. Wow, that is a long putt. Okay, not quite exactly what I had in mind. Go in the hole. What a putt. 33 footer for bird. Going green with a hybrid trophy I got. Had to go long hybrid in on the par 4 on that hole. Oh, 
Oh, this is a drivable, drivable bad boy here. Yeah, we got it. Ooh, sit. That's a par four. Driving in. Is that a par four, right? Oh, it's a par three. It's an insane par three. You gotta hit driver on this thing. That's why I figured it was a par four. For birdie. Ah, way out. Man, that didn't what break. this round could have been with just a few putts. Screw you, Jim. This round's going pretty good, I think. Well, three under in front so far. One hole left. Let's check the leaderboard. Let's check it. These guys got no chance. Unless I do something completely ridiculous. Scott's already two over. Anytime you have the green perched up above you, you're going to have to hit it a little harder. Twenty feet uphill. That's. At least another club. Come on. Gotta play. Nice shot in the scoring Look at zone. The size of that green. It's ridiculous. And he could close out the front nine with a birdie here. Stay up, stay up. Yes. Four on the front. Take it. All day Doesn't long. matter how you got there. Only matters what is on the card. Not going to be bigger or better than that. Trying to hold it back a little bit on the down, on the back to try to get as much Give power update, swing in the drives as like can. Right to yards away from this point. Above feet be too long. Come on. No, it's not too long. Oh, I said it's a little long. Well, yeah, it's Some holes you'll take green it anywhere on, on the green, but not in this case. This is a feeling. long way away. This is a huge uphill putt. Come on, turn. Nope. And how about the way these players have performed for the week? The best in the field when it comes to being on the green and regulation. Take it. Let's take a look now at how they position themselves on that first page of the leaderboard. All right, three shots over Manuel. We're actually a shot. We're actually a whole. He's all behind us. This is uphill, so we shouldn't have to worry about going through this fairway. Well, now that I hit it, we might have to worry about going through the fairway, even though it's a little uphill. Oh, guess well, this not. is a beautiful shot, guess. Jim. He put it right in the fairway. A little 3.4. Spaced out there for a second, sorry. 
So we got 116. This is 111. This will be the lob wedge or 60 degree. Got it on the dance floor, and now a chance to cash in. Ooh. Get in the hole. Oh. Beautifully played from way out there. Two putt for par, and we'll sit tight. At I'll take it. We've yet to bogey. This round, or even the whole first round that we played. Little grasshopper. No idea what that means. But we unlocked it. So, so far we have a bogey-free career. Look at see, try to keep that going as long as we can. And that's a solid tee shot right there. What a nice way to start the hole. It has to be a par five, right? Yeah, 329 left. I don't think you're saying there's no way. A little bit of a side hill lie there. Going with the lob wedge. Green swing. From the hole. Oh. Man, that's long, huh? Holy cow. Really longer than I thought. A birdie bid. Come on, knock it in. Got it. Sorry, I'm actually kind of like dozing off. <laughs> it's really early in the morning, but I really want to get some of these videos taken care of early on here. And there's been a couple shots where I'm kind of like out of it, so I apologize for that. Let's just get this down. 113. I'm gonna want to land this thing. Just on the green with the wind, but it's uphill, so a little bit of combo. And that is a good ball, I would have to that say. That is a textbook approach to this green, and it's a great position to make a putt. That will work. Five under par on the leaderboard. Money. That birdie. It's been a while since we birdied, isn't it? A few holes at least, I think. We were just too early on, on two and three, and then we had a little bit of a par run, so. I pulled it. Yankage. Yep, into the shit. Dang it, it's the first fairway we missed. Pretty sure. Off the drive. You'll take that result all day long. They really take the, the uh, rough into account a lot there, and I think that's probably why I was short.
Right. Turn. Get in the hole. Shit. Why are we so high up? A nice par to remain five under. I must have accidentally tapped the R2 button. That's what changes your cameras. Here are the statistics for the 15th hole. So we got a long par four at 499. A little over 215 left. Okay. So we got one to worry about. A little harder than I wanted it. Check up. Come on. That'll that will leave a very realistic chance for birdie and he has a chance to make birdie here get to the hole yes money what a putt Alright, three to play. I'm like dozing off and I'm trying not to. I apologize. So I think there's a couple spots where nothing's happening for a few seconds at least. So I apologize for that, but it happens. Wow, That'll look work. at that action. What a shot. 100% greens this time. For the birdie. Another roll here. Let's go to our data bank now and find out the best of the best so we far. Are one putt above Manuel, who should be in second place. Take a little bit off it. Don't want to go in the red. Well, that's out there. Uh, yes. That's out there. Good distance. Nice shot. Keep this greens streak going. Okay. Again, I'm like dozing off. Apologize. Be the club. Way long. Way long. Seeing I should chip. One thing I don't really enjoy doing normally in these games. I can't remember how it actually works in this one. Good. Good par putt. All right, one hole left, and looks like we got the U.S. Amateur, U.S. Open High Amateur and now score. A check of the leaderboard. 
Manuel is actually three behind me. Everybody else is completely gone. How does Oakmont end? I can't even remember. It's been so long. Alright. Lofi 3.1. We'll be hitting it as in six iron. This is six iron. Yank. Shouldn't kill me though. Or should it? And let's go to the leaderboard. I didn't really see where that ended up. Oh, it's short, that's why. Feet uphill. Just we need to hit it. Come on, get up. In the hole. That's in the yes. hole, and it finishes off a very impressive. Ah, round I keep dozing off. off. Fuck a second. How can I apologize? But that's a big birdie end. It. We already had it, but it's nice to score a little better. Actually, it's a par. What am I talking on my ass? So we shot four under the front, three under the back for seven under, which more than takes care of these guys. And Jim Nance and well. Dave Faraday saying thank you for joining us here at EA Sports, and we'll see you next time. All right, so the next one is the Web.com Tour Q School at Pebble Beach.